A neutrino is a fundamental particle, so named because it's electrically neutral and its mass is so small that for a long time scientists thought it was zero. Because neutrinos only interact through the weak force and gravity, not the strong force or electromagnetism, they can pass through ordinary matter almost as if it weren't there. About a hundred trillion neutrinos from the sun pass through your body every second. In fact, most of these pass through the entire Earth as if it weren't there. It would take about a light year of lead to stop half the neutrinos coming from the sun. Neutrinos have a spin of a half, which means they're fermions. And, like electrons, they don't experience the strong force, and so are classed as leptons. Neutrinos come in three flavors. Electron neutrinos, muon neutrinos, and tor neutrinos, corresponding to each of the types of charged lepton. Neutrinos were first postulated by Wolfgang Pauli in 1930, but first detected in 1956. For a long time, it was suspected that they had zero rest mass and, like photons, travelled at the speed of light. But it's now known that, although they're much lighter than any other particle, they do have a tiny mass. Strangely enough, neutrinos can change identity during flight. In fact, a neutrino oscillates between the three different flavours, electron, mu, and tor neutrino, while travelling from one place to another. This means, for example, that if it starts out as an electron neutrino, it may interact with a distant detector as a mu or tor neutrino. This complicates finding out a neutrino's mass, because each neutrino type has a different mass, and once created, a neutrino is effectively a combination, or what's known as a quantum superposition, of all three mass states. We still don't know what these individual masses are, although there's evidence to suggest that the sum of all three is only about one millionth of the mass of an electron, itself a very lightweight particle. Neutrinos, along with antineutrinos, their antimatter equivalent, are formed both on Earth and throughout the universe by a variety of processes. These include the radioactive decay of nuclei, natural nuclear reactions inside stars, and artificial reactions in nuclear reactors and particle accelerators. They're also produced during supernovas and when cosmic rays collide with atoms in the upper atmosphere. The greatest obstacle to learning more about neutrinos is the difficulty of detecting them since they pass ghost-like through most substances. But several large detectors, such as Super Kamiokande in Japan and Ice Cube at the South Pole, have been built and are being used in the nascent field of neutrino astronomy, opening up a new window on the universe.